okay, some pump sits in a barrel like this. Uh, you'd put it at the bottom, maybe elevate it slightly so it doesn't get clogged up, right in the center. Kind of like that. Uh, the water would come in, and this bobber here, when it gets up too high, it clicks on, and the water will drain out. I okay, uh, theoretically, if water was getting into your basement, it would seep through your basement wall, come down, and go into the trench down here between the, uh, the basement wall and your floor. It would uh, then go into a corrugated pipe, plastic pipe, that travels the perimeter of the basement wall and leads into your sump pump here. Sump pump will get full or to whatever level you set it as and then get pumped out of the house through this pipe that goes down into the sump pump. Okay, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. These pipes here, you cut holes in the, uh, the barrel for the well. And these pipes run uh, the perimeter of the basement. And the water comes through, goes into there. Uh, we're gonna take a shortcut and I'll show you how it works. That orange clip is the bobber just to make it easier to see. Um, that wasn't enough, but the bobber will come up, and when it hits a certain point, it'll click on, and the water will drain out. And that's how it works. When a house is first built, there's two different methods that are usually used to prevent water from getting into the basement later on. A spray-on liquid rubber membrane, or a waterproof membrane that's on a roll that you would put up in sheets along the outside of the foundation wall. In this method, the water is caught in a pipe outside of the wall and goes through the wall into the sump pump and then is pumped away from the house. And this is a closer view of the membrane. Okay, here we have a few other waterproofing systems. It's more or less for after you already have a problem with water getting into your basement rather than a water prevention system. It's a paint. We have dry lock and uh, a bare basement masonry paint. Uh, they, they tell me here at Home Depot that the, the bare is better. It only takes one coat. You can apply it with a roller, whereas with the dry lock, it takes two coats, and you have to apply it with a brush. Okay, this here is just a video that I found online. One of the other waterproofing systems that's out there. Uh, here they want you to prime the walls and then put a sealer on all the cracks and then go ahead and put the top coat on. Not all products are like that, but it probably isn't a bad idea to do all that anyway. Floors and walls leak as shown in the video because the basement doesn't have the perimeter piping or a sump pump. This problem is called static pressure. This system alone will only seal water out of the basement, but the water will still build up under the floor. So you should also add a sump pump or two to alleviate water pressure. Most of these paints and stuff work on a block foundation wall and a poured foundation wall. I cut together everything you saw tonight on a Macintosh.